What about farmed fish? It's the devil. It's the solution. It's awful. It's the best option. It's the worst option. If you're not sure what all this fish farming stuff is about, then this video is for you. Welcome to Ginger and Sea Guys. My name is Greg Holder, and today we are going to look at the fish farming industry in just 90 seconds. So let's dive straight in. So first of all, let's look at the negatives of fish farming. A lot of fish farms are built along the coastline, which is extremely damaging to the local ecosystem as there's a lot of important and crucial habitat destroyed. And this is particularly important in developing countries where there is a lot less controls about the destruction of important ecosystems such as mangroves and seagrass beds. Another big problem with fish farms is a lot of the fish that are farmed are carnivorous. And this means they need to be fed other fish. Fish farms will actually go out and catch wild caught fish or use bycatch and feed the farmed fish with this fish meal of ground up wild fish which obviously negates the point of eating farmed fish to reduce our impact on the wild caught fish and finally in farmed fish in the ocean there are the risks of chemical and antibiotic leaching into the local ecosystem which can cause devastating impacts on the local wildlife however there are positives to fish farms now I'm not going to go into the ethical side of fish farming and animal cruelty but if we look at the sustainability of fish farming there is definitely many ways to fish farm that have very minimal impact on the ocean and the planet. One of the biggest factors for sustainability is, is the fish farm inland and a closed circuit? If it is, that means there is a much lower risk of any chemicals and antibiotics being leached into the environment. And also it means that no coastal habitat has had to be destroyed. And with all the fish in closed pens, this means the huge amounts of waste that the fish produce don't create algal blooms, which can be a problem with mariculture in the ocean. Offshore fish farms can also be sustainable as they do not contribute to any habitat destruction, but there are still the chemical and antibiotic problems I mentioned earlier. Without doubt, fish farming can provide a huge amount of food to the market, reducing the pressure on wild caught fish. There you go guys, there's your 90 seconds. I hope you learned something. I'm gonna put two videos up in the corner here, both of which are slightly more one-sided in either a positive or a negative argument. And don't forget to watch my video, which I'll also throw up here, if you want to learn a bit more about the species that you should and shouldn't eat in general for the environment. Whichever side of the debate you are on, the fact remains that we must reduce our overall seafood intake around the world. So my advice would be to you, best thing you can do is to completely remove seafood from your diet. A good thing you can do is to reduce the amount of seafood that you have in your diet and any seafood that does remain in your diet is sustainably caught or sustainably farmed. And the worst thing you can do is continue eating huge amounts of seafood with no consideration to the impact that it has on the ocean or on the planet. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Please give it a like if you got some value from this. Don't forget to share it with anyone else who wants to learn about fish farming. And don't forget to subscribe to continue learning more about the marine ecosystem and conservation. Thanks so much for joining today, guys, and I'll see you at the next one.